Hey guys, Zethius here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm finally, uh, you know, uh, in, you know, doing videos in a consistent actually time. So I'm happy to be back. I'm also happy to tell you guys that I finally got accepted to the content creator program. Uh, I would like to, you know, uh, give out and actually. Um, give the community in return as much as possible uh, i've been enjoying the game tremendously i still am enjoying the game even after you know finishing um basically everything in the game right uh, in terms of uh, you know gear raids in terms of uh, campaign nightmare everything uh, even guild boss i do like an average of uh, 73 per run on nightmare 4 so you know even with that i i'm still enjoying the game and i do hope you guys are also enjoying the game uh there uh, there are many other things that uh, the game could uh, you know uh, could offer and i'm i'm very sure the with how well the developers are doing things it's gonna be in the near future you know fingers crossed uh so yeah on that topic on the on the topic of new updates let's talk about uh, this weekend this weekend is gonna be a bit too a bit too messy right if you don't know what to do and what you know what to focus on and whatnot so first of all uh, for this video I'll, I'll strictly be talking about the 2x 10x uh, sorry 2x 15x and then uh, you know in the next video I do hope that I might uh, sorry that I can uh, do today I'll be talking about the other things that came along with the event so for the 2x 15x and the exclusive uh, banner for reeve if you guys don't know so if you click here you see that we have a 2x 15x together on arguably two of the best champions in the game hex and zilla as well as razak on the side razak is actually very good i'll get into that in a bit and we also have a guaranteed exclusive rerun of the reeve banner it's been a very very long while i think he's uh you know i think a couple of weeks post launch he, he was released you know as an exclusive banner but back then i don't think uh, you know me included nobody knew about the uh, about the you know how about how good he is and about the value of exclusive champions because you know they're very rare you can only get one copy uh, you know if you're lucky you can get more but yeah so let's get right into it so for the 2x 15x uh, by the way this 15x uh, you know increase in chance uh, I don't know the specific numbers yet or the chances, uh, but I do know a vague idea of how good this is, right? So it used to be 10x, but now with the increased uh, pool for legendaries, sorry, yeah, for the increased pool, uh, pool of legendaries, sorry, um, they had to increase the odds somehow, somehow, right? If you look at this, for example, you know, this is the new pool of champions and you compare it for example to the old new old pool of champions this is actually pool faction trials right so if you pull this legendary hero pack has the old school champions that we used to have uh, you know a couple of months ago before the big updates and before the big releases so we have the lords we have ix and we have you know a couple of the og champions that we used to uh, we used to love and we still love some right so right here so with that, with the increase of the um, the pool, with the increase, with the number of champions coming out, they had to actually, uh, in some way, uh, increase the chances. And I really, really commend the devs for that because it takes years for developers to actually uh, notice this and actually give a higher chance. There, there are there are a couple of games that uh, like gave us uh, this feature after four years of delay and imagine uh, watches still has a relatively small pool of heroes i think 70 something 72 or 73 legendaries you know non-ancient legendaries but some games i think 500 legendaries and they haven't gotten around to increasing the 10x chance and you know until Ten, two years or sorry two to three years after that so i'm really really proud of the devs for this and i'm really happy uh, that they did this and yeah so for those who don't know uh, briefly right a 15x or a 10x means that you have 15 or 10 more champions of such you know the ones uh, in the 10x or the 15x it, you know in the pool so we have hex and, and zilla too, for example so if you go back to the pool imagine this pool of champions right right here having 
15 more hexes and having 15 more zillators and having 15 more resacks that's basically it right um, if you do the math it's a really high chance of getting um, the, the one you want or at least one of the 15 x banners a banner heroes but which one of them is the problem that's why you know this banner could, could be better if they you know remove the Razak from it you could you only get zero to and hex as a 15x uh, hero but you know Razak is also good I don't have him yet so I would really love this uh, passive these two passives okay so for the uh, 15x uh, discussion this is it so we also have a 2x this is a very rare occasion it's very rare for the devs they, I think they only did it uh, one time uh, before this with the Setram and Boreas banner I think yeah so it's really rare for the devs to actually do this to have a 2x with a 15x so you have a very big chance this is the biggest chance in the game I think ever we will see of getting zero to or hex on a 2x 15x so uh, it's really really big and you know you do need to take into this into consideration when you're summoning now for the other banner that we have oh by the way we do have them for divines as well so if you have divines it's also good you have a I think 11.5 chance or 15 sorry or 10.5 chance or 11 percent chance uh, of getting uh, the heroes you want from divines also a big chance then we have this so 15 percent drop rate and guaranteed within 20, 250 summons to get reeve this is a big big topic this is you know uh, people have been asking for a rerun of reeve for the longest time right now mainly you know like if you read his kit you don't you, you know you can't start to you know mention how how good he is right first of all captain reeve is a defender magic dealing champion you know i think only him and i think two uh, have this trait you know to be a defender as well as you know deal magic damage so captain reeve is already already gonna be s tier for the new gear raid dungeon right so uh, this one Right, sorry. Um, get it done. So yeah, get it dungeon, get it four, as people call it. Because uh, if you don't know, um, the great dungeon doesn't allow for physical damage, right? And it really needs a lot of tanks, right? So having a tank and a magic dealing tank, that's really really nice. I think that's that's also where uh, Trusk comes in. Trusk is also useful here. But anyways, so on Reeve, right? Reeve as a champion is just fantastic. He visually looks as you know as one of the best uh, design champion in the whole game i still see it and i still you know uh, argue for it he also has a very very cool cinematic right um uh, you know like with the sea folk and you know there, there is harpoon i think this is the only time where we see harpoon you know in a cool uh, cool eye right but yeah so just he looks so so good you know i've been eyeing him ever since um uh, uh, you know i missed the chance because if you don't know i i joined the game right i think after they ra ran his uh, exclusive banner so i uh, this time i do have a chance to get him right and yeah so again for reeve we need to look at the kit right to see how good he is for the talent we you know we have for every four enemies uh, enemy units that he kills or uh, I think it says here for every four enemy units killed increase attack speed by 10 so it uh, it reads here as if you know 44 units in general i haven't tested this out you know people in the comments if you have reeve and were lucky enough to get him back then please do say so but here it says four units so it might be any four units the dead you know that, that increase that proc this so this is already an amazing passive because he does make benefit or make use of attack speed so up to 100 attack speed insane you know people usually get this on their a1 but he has it on his talent his magic damage uh, attack uh, magic basic attack is you know uh, the typical basic attack that you have 120 to an enemy then we have his passives right packed with the drowned inflicts slow on five enemies in range it goes up to 10 so 10 enemies in range as a defender to give them a slow for minus 50 percent it's not as good as a uh, marie's for example but it is it is it is a good good debuff to have you know especially uh, as a defender so 50 percent basically half their movement speed just gone um 
in, in, in range, so 10 uh, total. Then we have his Abyssal Envoy, right? When attacking enemy targets under control, uh, meaning stun, meaning uh, slow, uh, restores 3% up to 7% 7 of his max HP. This is bonkers. This is an insane passive, right? Because it synergizes so well with the Cultist faction as well as Captain Reeves uh, you know, kit. So what, what do I mean by Cultist, right? So if you go to... Uh, for example, Eon, right? Just basic Eon. M most of us have her because of the fusion that she had, uh, Fragment Collector. So, increases damage t uh, faction uh, team's members' damage dealt to enemies inflicted with stun, freeze, immobilize. Basically, you know, control and other control effects by 20%. So, Reeve having this passive just only you know just adds to the cultist uh, lord skill as well as you know his own kit that offers slows and stunts this is very unique you know to have a stun on command that is 1.5 seconds this is really rare i think not many uh, champions in the games ex especially defenders have it uh, i think brokir has a freeze but here we have a full-on stun so during the ultimate uh, boiling brine during the ultimate each attack deals 20 percent aoe damage goes up to 220 right to multiple enemies around and inflicts stun now, this is very vague when it says multiple enemies. We don't know exactly how many enemies. We can test, right? Uh, when, we find re when we finally get him. But yeah. And inflict stun for one second. Goes up to 1.5, right? Uh, on them. This effect lasts for 20 seconds, right? Goes up to 25 seconds. Really, really fantastic. Uh, again, for uh, a defender. Having a stun on command. As well as a slow on command. Right, so you know, not, not only stunning them, but only uh, but also applying slow to them. Fantastic, fantastic champion. Now, if this kit wasn't already good enough, even if his looks weren't already good enough for you guys, right, and his trade being defender magic already, you know, good enough, let's look at his two of the most useful passives of the whole game, right? So you have sunken treasure. And you have gold mastery so gold mastery is a passive that he gets outright right gold obtained through battle is increased by six percent then we have the bond skill now he has a bond skill with razak the other uh, uh, 2x champion with 0 2 and 6 obtain hero razak to unlock the following bonus effect gold obtained through battle is increased by six percent so six percent plus six percent that's twelve percent if you add this to the gold bonus that we get so let's say here it's increased by 100 percent. so 112 percent chance to actually increase sorry not chance 112 percent increase in gold when you have reeve and razak as well on the same you know you know in, in your roster or in the in the fight when you when you have him in the fight so this is absolutely insane insane i think um a couple of weeks ago they actually published on reddit i think and on any other platform that they've published um the actual statistics of this it, it it went up to trillions of gold you know for everybody that had him and this is you know keep in mind this is for the the small the handful of people that actually got him so now more people will have access to him and more people will have you know uh, an influx of gold when they when they have him. so absolutely insane uh he has 19 cost three block great great cost for a defender uh it's the usual defender cost but you know some defenders get go up to 25 which is really bad but here we have 19 uh, great great um, statistics so yeah so even even his reviews are insane uh he's really really good as a champion and overall just a well well-rounded hero right even if even in his own uh, faction like you don't see he's the only defender in the faction you know <clears throat> um yeah he's the only one so it's really really good to have somebody like him around right so now let's move on <clears throat> sorry let's move on to the other heroes uh, that we are very familiar with here on the 2x we have Hex and we have Zero Two. These two don't need any introduction. Hex, the best magic single target damage uh, dealing uh, hero in the game. Insane burst, uh, just so powerful. Uh, he recently got a nerf and then a buff. He also has the best artifact in the game for damage dealing. Uh, just, an, uh, just an insane, insane champion. 
Then we have Zillow 2. Um, <clears throat> Zillow 2 is also arguably the best single, uh, the best damage dealing champion in the guild boss right now. Uh, you know, just baseline Zillow 2. Baseline Zillow 2 could get up to 200 million easily in guild boss without you know any awakenings. Uh, if you pair her up with a Twin Fiend or Soul Cadence, uh, Soul Cadence might not, might not you know be that good with her. But you know, Twin Fiend for example, because he boosts her damage. But yeah. Uh, insane champion both of them are very very good right uh, then we have Razak Razak again um, he's okay he's really good early game maybe mid game but end game he falls off like when, when you reach the end game you will only use him in maybe gear day 3 and maybe faction wars that's it you know but most people when they use him they use him for this so just like how Captain Reeve has a gold bonus passive he has a xp passive which is also as as equal right uh we have his passive xp obtained through battles increased by five percent just like reeve but with gold then we have his bond skill with reeve xp obtained through battles increased by another five percent so a total of 110 when you have the xp boost so yeah uh that's for Zach. now uh i would actually uh, read their kit and do a guide on them but you know it would take uh, too long and i value your time uh, more than that um, but yeah so if you guys want a video on talking about these two champions or you know even Razak um, I'm, I'm, I'm all ears you know I can do that uh, as for the epics right we have <coughs> Midan which is insane you know as a healer uh, late game she falls short when she is compared by you know with the other with the other healers but she will always be useful just for the sole fact of having this dispel all debuffs right uh, you know, she is very useful in uh, the new uh, Void Lift phase, the Selene, I think, Selene phase, where they, they give us, uh, sorry, the, there are mobs that debuff uh, healing, so this is really good. She's also a HP based healer, you know, that's all, that's always good, you know. And then we have Nisalt. Nisalt was uh, considered the worst epic in the game by a mile for, for as long as we remember, right? But now with the introduction of the new codex, uh, the new Boreas or Fro Arbiter of Frost um, codex, this one, Nisalt has uh, seen a surge of value, right? Because, because of the dot damage that uh, they apply. Right, so it's really good to see to see them adding new content and having uh, champions like Nassault and anybody else, you know, to shine and uh, do the work. Right. Then we have uh, Miriel. Miriel is okay. She's she's neither a healer, neither a tank. She's stuck in the middle, but she she is good. If you get her early game, she can help you out. Um, she can also be useful for the defenders codex, right? For the one for uh, the one with <coughs> the flame arbiter. Right, which is um, Soul Cadence, right? This one, Hellfire Emperor, sorry. Uh, she can also be useful there because she can heal herself. But other than that, uh, I don't see her uh, being used in late game, maybe in faction trials, that's it. Uh, so yeah, now uh, that's it for the champions. For my final thoughts on what you should summon for, what you should actually focus on, uh, I would absolutely, even as intriguing as this is, right? I would absolutely go for Captain Reeve, right? Just because of, you know, everything that he offers. You know, even if you don't use him as a champion, just to having these two passives unlocked is just so good. Now, for people that say, well, I don't have, you know, a guaranteed 250 summons, uh, even if I actually, you know, go up to Tuesday, because this goes up to the 2nd of uh, April, so th there is some time for us. Even if people, you know, say that we I can't pull, pull for him, I would recommend. Uh, then in that case, you go for the 2x15x. Then you know, if you are actually 100% sure that you can get him. In my case, though, uh, I am 21 uh, pulls away from PT. I've already um, counted the PTs. Uh, sorry, the sums I have. So I am 179 uh, into PT. So I need 21 to get to actually reach pity to hit it so i will be um summoning on the reef banner uh, to maybe have a chance because it's 15 now 50 percent and he's the only one in the banner so i have a high chance of getting him before the 250 summons uh, and the leftover summons i have i will be using on um the the 10x the 15x 2x banner 
for zero to end hex because I already I do have already hex I have ma one but I I am aiming for the a two a three hex it's a it's a big boost for him right it can you know more uptime on the ultimate as well as my brand new zero two now. I do hope I get her. I've been I've been eyeing Zelda for as long as I remember. I have an A3 Nocturne. I have a Twin Fiend. Uh, I have Hex. I have all of the Infernals basically except for Zelda and Saturn, which are the two uh, I guess uh, meta champions that I don't have right. So I would really enjoy having Zelda. It basically would make me reach I think a new cap, maybe 80, 85 something or 80k damage in good boss. Uh, so and it would also allow me to finally clear the infernal's uh, trial with her, right? Uh, so yeah, I do hope um, that I get her and everybody else that is pulling. So good luck on that. But yeah, so my first priority would be Reeve. If you have the 250 summons to pull on Reeve, get him. Maybe you'll get lucky and get him um, before. Um, I would also uh, then if you finished for example here early you go to the 2x 15x of course but if you uh, you know like have 80 or 70 summons I would just recommend you you do it here and sorry you have 70 80 summons and you're way away from pity I would go on this 2x 15x if you have if you are on pity like me I do recommend you go for Reef right and then with the leftover you do you go uh, for the 2x 10x now another strategy that you could do is for example you have like i don't know a lot of summits let's say uh, let's say 300 or something like that right so a, a very common strategy that uh, i use is that i keep pulling for example on the exclusive banner this is what i did with lust and i reached 200 uh, like 190 summons and i still haven't gotten the the exclusive hero i then switch banners so you know by 190 I'm, I'm 10 away from pity so i waste my pity on the other banners that are in the in the in the event and then i come back to get you know a guaranteed uh, 250 uh, from the exclusive to get, to get the exclusive from the, the 250. i do this because um you always have a chance of getting the exclusive champion. So imagine after pulling 200 uh, summons and you pull that champion at 200 after wasting so much, you know, and you're only 50 away from getting them, you know, guaranteed. So it's better to get two legendaries for the price of one, you know, because if for those who don't know, after you pull the champion, the exclusive champion, the event is uh, is, is done, right? So yeah, that's that's a better way to spend your your summons we also have a sneaky sneaky ancient banner uh, here uh, i hope that they would add valderon because they did add him uh, here no not here sorry they did add him to the event tab if you actually can see him uh one second yeah there you go he should yeah there you go so valderon they did add him here they did foreshadow him coming but uh, I would recommend that you save. You don't you don't pull your ancients here. Just save for the off chance that you might get Veldron on a 15x banner soon. And yeah, uh, this is this is it for me. Uh, I do hope you guys enjoyed this, and I do hope that you guys have the best of luck uh, pulling this uh, this you know weekend. And for any questions, please do a uh, you know write them down in the comments. Uh, like, subscribe, and share. Uh, the video if you enjoyed it and yeah peace out thank you